Hey everybody, so I wanted to uh, share something with you that happened last night that was actually super scary for our family. Um, last night at about, I want to say 11 o'clock or so, uh, we hear a big thud underneath our camper and uh, we hear one of our dogs yelp. And uh, I look on, I immediately, my husband and I go outside and we look and uh, there's a copperhead underneath our camper and uh, our dog Ginger has um, like two basically puncture marks on her nose with a little bit of blood coming out of them. And uh, so immediately we knew she got bit by a copperhead. And um, being up here, um, being in Florida, we didn't, you know, we have rattlesnakes, we have coral snakes and stuff like that. I never really encountered any copperheads or anything like that in Florida. You know, Florida's more rattlesnake country than it is copperhead country. Um, so, you know, we're, we're familiar with poisonous snakes, but we're not super familiar with copperheads. So my husband, immediately what he did is, uh, I was checking Ginger. She was moving around. She was fine at the time. Um, and my husband was able to take a shovel, get the snake out from underneath her camper. And of course he killed it and, uh, it got rid of the body and everything like that. So it wouldn't affect our other animals. Um, because even sometimes when you kill poisonous snakes, um, they still have muscle reactions after they die and they can still, with their muscle reactions, like strike and things like that. So didn't want them around any of our other dogs, uh, because we do have an older beagle who is 14 years old. We also have a puppy who's only about four months old. Ginger, the dog that got bit, uh, she is to give you kind of a point of reference. She's about a year and a half old. She is some sort of hunting dog mix. We got her from a humane society. She is the res a rescue dog. Um, she's about 60 pounds or so. Um, and like I said, we have no idea what she is, <laughs> what she actually is breed wise. She's brown and she really likes to go after rabbits. So we're assuming some sort of hunting dog. Um, so Ginger got bit. Um, we did check for our other dogs. One of our dogs, one of our great Pyrenees was in with a sheep. So we knew he was completely unaffected. One of our other great Pyrenees who stays up out, out and, you know, patrols the property. We looked for him, checked him out. He was not bit. So was, we did find out that it was only Ginger that got bit. Um, not going to lie. I completely freaked out. I was panicking. I was thinking she was going to die <laughs> and everything else. Um, and the area we live in is about, let's say 45 minutes or so from the closest like city type area. And in the county we live in, there's like no emergency vets. Um, so we were able to call a vet in the county locally um, that did call me back. And we did also call an emergency vet um, that's actually over in Arkansas because that's the closest place we could go to for um, emergency vet at this time. So the vet from the area we're from actually did call me back. And uh, when I was talking to him about it, because obviously, you know, copperhead bites are, copperheads are venomous. Uh, they can kill animals and uh, they can kill humans. And so we're talking to this vet and he basically told us, and, and I'm going to say that this is not medical advice from me, <laughs> absolutely call a vet if your dog has, or any animal has been bitten by a copperhead or any kind of poisonous uh, snake. But what the vet told me was that uh, in a dog her size, which is about a 60 pound mutt, basically, um, that it's really no worse than a uh, are a little bit worse than a, a wasp sting. So he said, you need to watch for swelling. Obviously, you know, all the stuff you see on, you know, you Google, you know, you need to watch for the swelling, you need to watch for excessive bleeding, you need to watch for foaming at the mouth, things like that. Those are things that we definitely had to watch for. Um, it took about 30 minutes, honestly, before her nose, where she got bit, because she got bit right on the bridge of her nose, um, before it even started swelling. And so we knew from that point that it wasn't super crazy serious um, in the sense that it took so long to even show a reaction. Um, but he said to basically give her adult Benadryl and keep, now if her whole head starts swelling, immediately get her to an emergency vet. He says, but if it's just swelling around the puncture wounds, she'll be fine. She'll be okay. And she is. Uh, she got bit. We kept an eye on her for a couple hours, um, stayed up pretty late worrying about her. I was crying like crazy. Um, love the dog. She can be very annoying, but uh, she is an, an incredible dog. So it's one of those things where I don't want I don't want any of my dogs to go. I especially don't want a year and a half old, you know, dog to go. And uh, so she just swelled up a little bit around her nose. Um, we actually didn't even give her the Benadryl. Um, because the swelling was so minimal, 
Um, it was just a choice that we made. Um, obviously that was on us to make it. And even the, the vet said you could give it to her, but it wasn't like something that was mandatory. Uh, this morning she's up, she's running around, she's playing with the puppy. She's chasing things. She's eating just fine. She's drinking water just fine. All the swelling's gone and everything else. So she's perfectly fine. Um, but it was definitely a lesson learned. Um, I absolutely would suggest obviously calling a vet anytime your dog gets bit by a poisonous snake even a copperhead um but this was our lesson learned that uh in our dog for her age her size everything like that that she was going to be okay um but it was definitely one of those things where you know living out in the country it's a little bit scary sometimes um knowing that you're not as close to medical help as technically we were living uh in florida so that's just something to be mindful of that even with your animals, I know I talked about medical preps for your family a little while back, even with your animals, you should probably understand some of the medical things that need to happen should uh, something happen to one of your animals like what just happened with the copperhead. Um, so that's just our story guys from last night. Our dog got bit by a copperhead, but she is okay. She's perfectly fine and running around and being her normal silly crazy self. So <laughs> lessons learned on the homestead. Hope y'all have a great day. Bye.